the stars of uh, Breeders. It's a new show on FX. Launches March 2nd. Martin Freeman and Daisy Haggard sitting down right now. What's going on, guys? Hi. It's, it's actually a horror show. It's a, it's like honestly a if you're a parent yeah. you watch it and it's it is truly like scarier and more emotional than watching like, blood come out of someone's eyes. Really? I'm, yeah. I'm but glad, in a good way. That's a great that. review. A, with some laughs. <laughs> but in, with, in, with so many laughs. In a truthful <laughs> way. Though. Because yeah. Like, yeah. like Jessica and I have worked together a long time and we sort of bonded when we realized when we had our children. We we each have two hmm. that you spend all day working thinking oh, i just want to get home with my kids i miss my kids so much oh my god they're the best and then you get home and 10 minutes later they're driving you absolutely mental yes, yes. but yes. no one talks about that no, no. Parent, parenthood is yeah. like get the f away from me come here and give me a hug yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. it's complicated yeah, I, isn't I it yes but I agree. Daisy that's, that's, my that's what I love already. about, about, <laughs> this, about this show so yeah. like where did the idea for the show come from uh, in terms of this love meets frustration angle a dream is the true answer. I dreamt the first scene of the first episode almost verbatim and almost exactly how it happens. But also it came out of a frustration um, at going to, you know, nice liberal dinner parties where people would just sit around going, isn't it just amazing being a parent? Isn't it the most wonderful thing you'll ever do? And I thought, well, yeah, of course it is. But when's someone going to tell the truth that sometimes you want to put your head through a plate glass window in rage and frustration. You know, because like we can all sit around saying how amazing it is. Because it that's true, it is. It's the most profound thing you will ever do by a mile. But it's also a, what, what you're not prepared for, as I say, because people don't really talk about that, is this, the other side of it, which is absolutely hand in hand with adoring your children is the stakes are that high and you know who mm. winds you up more than the people you adore the most you know once you know it's your parents and then when you have kids it's your kids you know? <laughs> so and then when you reach a certain point in life it's both yeah exactly yeah. absolutely yeah. absolutely yeah. what else do you dream about then what other tv yeah. shows have you dreamt i had this little dream called <laughs> citizen kane um yeah that, that was yeah. that was kind of a yeah, that was a lucky one. That was quite yeah. a succinct dream. It's a great scene, isn't it? You it know? is. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a perfect good scene. scene. Yes, Maybe yes. one that you've experienced. It sets the tone <laughs> quite well. Totally. And, and, no, and I definitely had, well, for, for the listeners, it's a scene where a father is walking up the stairs, determined, determined not to scream and shout at his kids. They're winding him up. He's going through the roof with frustration, but he's trying to talk himself down, saying, don't shout at them. You only feel bad. You'll feel terrible about yourself. Don't shout. Don't shout. Be better. Opens the door and lets loose a barrage of hell and corruption yes. on them. <laughs> and, and I've... I've done that, and uh, and so that you poem, have yeah. what a bad parent. <laughs> I know, I know. Never done that before. Shame on you! How sir. dare you? Shame, shame on you! And sir. I do feel like I should go before the court of human rights. How did you film that it? scene? How, were they were they there when you were giving it to them, or uh, were they not <laughs> yeah. in the in the room? No, when they you... are. They are there, but. Um, but there are rules and laws that yes. mean that you can't actually swear at the young uh, actors. So it's an alternative script. Yes. Basically. Yeah. So we oh, say really? a clean. Did you right. have a G-rated but it's script? It's hilarious. Yeah. I cannot get through it because the words are substituted and it's very surreal. Oh my god! Mm. Give me an example. Fudge. 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 What the fudge? Clock. Oh, yeah. my God. He, she's been wearing someone's clock ring. Clock yeah, ring. <laughs> she's been wearing the clock yeah. ring. And yeah, then yeah. I would just lose it and get Daisy incredible. Get I literally couldn't ring, learn. Yeah. I couldn't yeah. do that version of events. I would just get such bad giggles that in the end, I was sent yeah. out of the room. <laughs>And Daisy, there's a moment with, with, with you that I, I must have been through a million times when you're sitting there and you're either reading them a book or you're telling them a story uh, yeah. and you're falling asleep. Mm-hmm. And they're just like, what, Daddy, Mom, yeah. what, what happened? And you're like, oh, uh, you skip pages. I skip yeah. pages now. Oh, and I've, my five year old's now realized. <laughs> I, I just, and then you're reading The Very Hungry Caterpillar, which yes. is like literally, I know that book by heart and Me I want to just like scoop the, those cells out of my brain because I, I don't want to know it anymore. But you also are re- at least this happens to me. I'm like, Let me tell you, Daisy, what you're doing. You, uh, <laughs> you. I am also reading and then falling asleep while reading and then talking in my dream, and it becomes part of the story. <laughs> right. And then my kids are like, "What the hell are you talking? What the fudge are you talking <laughs> about? What are you talking about, you silly clock?" <laughs> yeah. You- so have it's you true. had that moment? I mean, like the a- thing that's so, yeah, because I've got a two-year-old and a five-year-old, so I'm a bit behind the parents in the show. Um, but that book... I I didn't have to learn those lines. Let's say, let's just put it that way. I knew them oh because I've been doing it that that morning, <laughs> the evening before. It was like it's my daughter's favorite book for a bit. 
Everyone. Yeah, PTSD. Mm-hmm. Yeah, literally. Like, yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, no, this is a good scene. I get to kind of go to sleep while saying something I already know. <laughs> What about, I mean, what Daisy, what was it like when you first, was there like a script? How did you yes. two come together for I this? just got, I mean, I, I, I've known Martin for years, mm-hmm. but, but then entirely separately, I got sent a, uh, an, you know, a script for an audition, read it, thought it was brilliant. But I had just had my second child and I was absolutely exhausted. I think she was three weeks old. And I was like, how am I going to do a self-tape? But I ended up putting her in a car seat and rocking it with my foot while my husband held the lines up, which I read with a slightly angry expression because mm-hmm. I thought, this is too early. I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm breastfeeding. I'm exhausted. My other one was watching something and then was like, well, I'll never get you know, recall. And then amazingly, I did. And then I went in and, and uh, recalled with Martin, who yeah. I knew. So that was that was nice. Yeah. But lots of people auditioned. Yeah, no, there were several actors up for the part. And, and no one else wanted to actors. do it. No. <laughs> you know, and good, and good, but it wasn't sort of like it wasn't a fait accompli because no. I've known Daisy but Daisy's just you know she's good and I think she obviously obviously she's good but what Daisy does really suits the style of the show which is you know she's very very good actor very truthful but she knows where funny is without having to knock it over the head you know you just kind of an awareness of where the comedy is without having to sort of you know I, I remember when I man. first when I You're first very welcome <laughs> yeah I remember when I first watched episodes and I was talking to someone <laughs> at, at in the office like well how is it I'm like there's this woman. She only has like two lines, <laughs> but and she's fr- but her facial expressions are hilarious. Like mm. I, that, I'm just, I remember that so starkly when I first saw you. Oh, in yeah, that. That had no idea who fun. you were, but you were just like stole those scenes. <laughs> and so it's just I always love it when people that I love on different projects like come together and are doing something yes. like like this show. Oh, yeah. No, we're very lucky to have her. Yeah, no, we're very lucky. Thank to you she's, for having me. Have you ever really seen Martin actor. in anything? No, I don't know <laughs> who he is. <laughs> <laughs> in my kitchen. I have I'm bloody good there. Yeah. Great in my kitchen. <laughs> it's amazing watching the show too. I'm, I'm, I'm taking it back to my kids are, are teenagers now, so they're older. But like, you do this weird thing when you have young kids where like, you just don't sleep and you're like how do I? and then you look yes. back and they're like how did I get through that that's yeah. what I'm doing at the moment and that's what I was doing during the show I because yeah. the kids were missing me a lot and so obviously then what had a two-year-old who slept on my face and a five-year-old who slept between my legs with a head on my tummy and then a dog eventually that decided to sleep on the other side and then and a, a husband. husband who was like guys I need to get in too <laughs> nowhere near so the I bed think yeah. Like, yeah and you do I mean they're sleeping a bit better now but there was a period during that show where I, I was literally in that so that first mm. episode the whole like sleepless night thing is what I am um, living wow <laughs> was there ever a moment in writing or, or or the script or acting or everything where you thought oh are we now going too far we all sort of felt that it's a kind of a challenge to do to to go as far as sometimes the parents do in this in the context of a comedy in the context of the half hour comedy not in a traumatic drama, not in a kitchen sink you know thing where everyone's sort of abusing each other but actually something that makes you laugh thank you that's tea well done (laughs) Um, and so I never really felt we could go too far because I think if the impetus certainly for me and and I know for Simon and Chris as well was to see uh, to actually tell the truth a little bit Mm. you know and not not a family that was abusive not a family that should have the cops called on them but a fact that uh, totally not for me a completely normal family lots of laughing lots of kissing lots of screaming do you mean that to me is what family is is and sort of always has been um but i i always kind of felt there are certain comedy family shows that i really enjoy really love i've loved watching them with my kids but what i was missing from it was that thing of when you've told your kids something four times the fifth time you're gonna absolutely (laughs) explode like someone's gonna get screamed at like properly screamed at just out of frustration um, rather than, oh, Thomas, I told you before, didn't I? No, I mean, that's, that's fine. That's that's number one. That's the, that's the hors d'oeuvres. And then up there, exponentially, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, so I thought, I'm sort of missing that, because I hadn't seen that. And I know me, I don't think I'm a terrible person, but I am certainly a flawed person. And I know the way I can lose my temper, and I know the way that I feel frustrated. And pretty much every parent I know behind closed doors says the same thing to to me pretty pretty much i know not everyone's the same but a lot of people admit to me me simon and chris when we were developing the show we had reams of things that we were just putting in all the stuff that didn't make us proud mm. you mean all the stuff where we thought yeah that was bad that was bad <laughs> that we probably handled that badly and hopefully that won't come out to bite us on the ass in 25 years you know um so no we, i never felt we were going too far actually no. what, what was your worst parenting moment that you fessed up to <laughs> Well, I mean, that, I mean, the thing of... Uh, Shouting. Well, I mean, like, screaming, quite detailed, 
scenarios. <laughs> What's going to happen? Do you know what I mean? Do, yeah, I mean, like, yeah, yeah, I mean, that, Here's that's how this not is great. Go. That's not good. I, I know that's not good. I'm not saying that expecting people to go, well done, I hope we all parent our children like that. But it, that's a fact, you know, and that's sort of, that's what frustration can do to you or lack of sleep or whatever. And so I kind of want to give that gift to the world and, and, and other parents so that sometimes people will go, oh, oh, good, it's not just me. It's not, you know, I, I think that's actually potentially quite a liberating thing. Mm. Not to celebrate screaming at children, but my God, to acknowledge it, to acknowledge those frustrations and out of that kind of Instagram lens of everything being wonderful and my perfect kids and my perfect parenting. It's just a lot. We know it's a lie. We know it's not true. And, and what's more, we're talking about screaming at our kids. A generation ago, two gen people oh, have been yeah. beating the shit out of their kids. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and actually, no one thinks that's good either. Of course, that's bad. So we, we are making progress, you know. Mm. But just the very fact now that we have we've we've come that far that we now think screaming at your kids is kind of oh, that's quite brave and risky. It's like well, until two minutes ago, that that was breakfast. Right. Do you know what I mean? Like that was like past mm. the cereals. Yeah, you know? I was um, get I was getting the belt when I was a kid. <laughs> Well, uh, well, they always say in Hollywood never work with uh, kids or animals. So how did you, <laughs> how did you settle on the kids, uh, casting the kids for this show? I think you you do a lot of uh, work in seeing a lot of kids, really. Yeah. Um, and that was something that was made clear early on because then they're, they're not just bystanders. You know that we wanted them to be a sort of integral part of the show. And over the ten episodes, you see that they are. You know, yeah. you'll see that they they are acting is required. You know, so it's very very important that. We get kids who are well able to do that, and that's that's yeah. not easy. No. Well, no, and no, like, yeah. How, how do you natural. Daisy? How do you like you, you meet this this kid, and then you're going to play the mom? You have to have this yeah. intimate relationship. How do you form that with a very well, I mean, young I actor? Suppose we both have kids and love kids, so that's helpful. Mm. <laughs> and uh, so mine is you, upstairs. You, if you want to spend, yeah, the first yeah. Day. I do. Exactly. I, I've got, always been the person who I'd goes and finds the kids and sits on the floor and hangs out and chats about stuff. So that that side of it is, you know, it's thankfully not something you know. It's, not, it's something that comes quite naturally, I think. Mm. But, you know, it, it can be challenging and uh, and it's tough for them. Um, they were amazing. They were really, really they're brilliant. So, they're, they're so, so good. good. Yeah. They're so natural. Yeah. And, and, and uh, yeah, the, 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 the boy who plays your son yes. who has... Um, you know, he's he's just scared of everything, oh, and so like lovely. he's so mm. good. Yeah. And there's like a list of things, whatever it is, uh, someone breaking in, <laughs> fires, and you know all yeah. these things. And it's just, um, yeah. and if you're a parent, you you've heard that, you've had that mm. moment where mm -hmm. you have to reassure your yeah. child for the yeah. eight billionth time yes. about something. Oh, God, my mind suddenly is scared of lava because my husband said it was in the earth and then she's like so hang on it's right it's there <laughs> I'm like oh no yeah <laughs> so we, every night we have to talk about lava you talk about lava every <laughs> night yeah and, it, and she's like but it does said it's, it's just under the ground and you're like uh, so whenever she sees a crack in the ground yeah. so, you know, the, so the your next holiday is, is like at Pompeii I mean literally yeah. that's all she talks about <laughs> so I, I really related to that yeah yes that came yeah Simon Blackwell our writer uh, extraordinaire he, yeah he I mean he he put that in because he had a direct memory of that from stuff that, that his sons had picked up the from fear. school. Mm -hmm. You know, things that you learn about and things that you should be just wary of, not terrified of, but just wary of. But of course, you say that to a small child. Um, yeah, Grace, my, my daughter, whenever she hears about it, you know, the, any virus, mother of God. Oh, yeah, well, I she, mean, she knows, like, yeah. yeah. forget it, man. She's at virus age, Ooh, as in that's a word terrified. that would make yeah. sense to her. Mine's still on witches and lava. Yes. Yeah. Have your children seen any episodes? Mine have seen all of it, and they and, love it. Okay. They really, really love it, and they're kind of, they're proud. Mm -hmm. And they jokingly say to people, oh, it's a show about how much our daddy hates us. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, so, and, and, and I think we should be on a cut of the profits or whatever, because we, we inspired it. Um, but no, they're very proud of it, and you know both both their parents are actors, and so they they've kind of grown up knowing that's yeah. part of what we do, mm -hmm. and they like yeah they're proud of their mum and dad. It's nice. Yeah. I, I like how the show also touches on sort of you know as a parent competitiveness and wanting achievement for your kid for, mm. versus wanting your kid to be happy and having to kind of mm -hmm. marry those concepts. Yes. And there's a very funny scene in season two where you're learning about how your child's doing at school and oh, he's doing well. Well, how well? You know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's funny <laughs> yeah, how you yeah, get yeah. those, you sort of feel that yeah. because you want the best for your kid, but there's also other of factors course. involved. It's yes. really interesting. Yes. And uh, yeah, you sort of don't, want, uh, at the one hand, of course, you do want to be, you teachers are in loco parentis, right? So you, you give them over and that, you know, you trust the, your children your most precious thing 
with the school and with the teachers, but there's also part of you that doesn't want to be told about your kids by another person, you know. Right. Yes, so you don't want to be told how well or not your kid is doing by another person. You take that quite personally, mm. you know. Um, I, I have a little game I want to play with you guys because mm. it's fun. We got four parents in the room here, uh, so I thought we could do a little game called a, "It's a Parenting Would You Rather." Mm -hmm. I'm going to give oh. you terrible scenarios, okay. and I want you guys to pick one for each. All okay. right? Yeah. Okay. So let's give you mm -hmm. your first round here. Parenting Would You Rather mm -hmm. with Martin and Daisy. Mm -hmm. Would you rather be pooped on or vomited on, Martin? Oh my life. Um, vomited. V why vomit? Because <laughs> it's not. Sh Okay. Good answer. Yeah. Good ding, ding, ding. I'm, I'm vomit. I'm You're gonna vomit. go vomit. Yeah. I mean, I had it just yesterday, and it really? was lovely. <laughs> was, was it nice? <laughs> no, having a bit of poo on you is just different, isn't it? It's harder to get off. It is. It's like Nutella. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is, yeah. Vomit is it's a nightmare. nightmare. Yeah, Dana, vomit. there's something about when you're a parent though. Like I was on a plane once and someone else's kid pooped on me. Wow. And I was uh, like I was like, no worries. Like wow, you're yeah, lucky yeah, you yeah. got me because I've yeah, been there yeah, and yeah, you don't yeah, want yeah. the other parent to feel oh, bad. See, I, yes. I disagree. I don't want to go near another kid's poop, but I will like <laughs> smear my body with my own kids. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because it's your own. All right, very yeah. good. Let's go on to question two. Here we go. Would you rather take the late night shift? Or the early morning shift, Martin? Uh, late night. Why late night? Because I'm my rhythms are naturally late night. Mm. So uh, there's still something. For, I'm totally in the wrong business because I had to get up <laughs> early a lot. I, I, there's something deeply horrendous for me about getting up early. It feels criminal. It feels like I'm being robbed. And so, yes, I would rather go through, do the all night thing than get up at, you know, whatever. Too early. Is yeah. Fair enough. Please. I'm a late night person and an early <laughs> I think in the end with me, even though I say to my husband sometimes, you do the night, if I hear them, I just want to sort it out myself anyway. So I probably go late night because I think I want to be the answer. Oh, that's good. Which is, you know, yeah. an honest oh. admission. I want to yeah. be the answer to the yeah. Paging Dr. Freud? Yes, <laughs> I know. I do. I'm like, no, I want to, I want to be the winner. <laughs> I'm morning. I feel like at 2 a.m. Or, or on, uh, I'm on it. I just, yeah. I need like a, I need three hours of sleep first, first and then I can be yeah. a human. Then you're ready to go. Yeah. You take, take a nap later, maybe. Yeah. All right. Next question. Would you rather have to read the same terrible book <gasps> over and over or listen to the same god-awful song oh, over and over? Oh. Martin, this is a tough one. Probably <laughs> read the book because that at least would be active and keep me awake, I think. Yeah, so I could maybe do a, an amusing different take on it just to keep myself some voices. Interested. Do some voices. Yeah. And, whereas if it's the same, yeah, the same awful song, that's pretty hard just because it happens to you. That's true. So it happens. It at really you. does. It's an assault. It is. An, it is. I'm the other way around because mm. we have mm. a book that's so bad that my daughter likes and we hide. And then when we're angry with the other one, we're like, uh, <laughs> "Ask Daddy to read the book." And then she'll be like, "Daddy, will you read the book?" And he'll look at me like, "I know you. <laughs> how dare you?" Because it's really long, and she knows it's how been long weaponized. it is, and you can't miss a page. Yeah. And I'm always like, "See you later. Have fun." <laughs> um, but the song happens to you, so I don't have to do it. Whereas I can't bear doing something I don't want to do. So reading that book. Is like it takes ages mm. and it's horrendous and I want to cry. Whereas hearing the song, I can just put something in my ears. Right, mm -hmm. yeah. block it out. Jessica, yeah, what about that's you? right. I would rather. I mean, there are some truly god awful songs mm. that I children mean, yes. like. Like, absolutely, you have to train them young and introduce them to other music. Yes, totally. Like that's that is key. But yeah, I th some of the books are so horrible. Like they're long. They're long, mm. and some of them are just they're classics and they're bad. Like I'm, so, the yeah. Velveteen <laughs> Rabbit's not a good book. I'm sorry. Like, I'm oh, just that was I'm, mean. Sorry, that was sorry. mean. I'm, I'm sorry. It's not. Why would you it's say not. that? I will read Little House on the Prairie forever. Yeah. I know. It's not that, Velveteen Rabbit's not good. I, <laughs> I, I haven't done it yet. Do you think uh, it's not good after the second or third, or you don't even like it on the first? I tolerated it the first, but I mm. think on like the 95th time, oh, I was yeah. like. But to be fair, the 95th time of anything is going to be hard. Yeah. It's true. I mean. It's true. I would have taken the song until my kid made me play the Bob the Builder theme song <gasps> from Washington, D.C. all the way to New York City. Oh, wow. Five and a half hours. Let me ask you. That is horrible. Why the hell did you. I know. I Acquiesce. I, I know. Well, Why? I, because it would have been have screaming. Have seen this show? Scra <laughs> well, like, nip it in the bud, man. Nip it in the bud. Get on top of it. It's on me. That one's on yeah. me. All right. Would you rather take care of kids who are easy but super boring or take care of really interesting kids who are a freaking nightmare? We all have the same answer because every parent <laughs> knows what they'll say because, they're, oh, they're, oh, but my kid's super interesting and smart. Yeah. I how much of a, yeah, but if it's an actual I, nightmare, it's an actual, nightmare. Yeah. Yeah. I think, uh, if I was being honest, they're not my kids, I'm not that yeah, invested that, in yeah. them, 
boring and I'll read. Yeah, yeah. boring and easy. Boring and yeah. I'll watch telly. Yeah. yeah, I used to do a lot of childcare and. Um, they, no, I, that's difficult because there were some really interesting kids that you loved, but you were absolutely exhausted. And then, yeah, probably the boring. Boring. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Jessica, yeah. you're going I, boring. I want, well, yeah. I mean, I want my own kid to yeah, be interested. I want my kid to be an interesting too. nightmare. Yeah. But, well, while yeah. someone else is taking care of it. Exactly yeah. right. So yeah, the worst. The, I think the worst thing is to, to think that your kids will be either either rude, as in impolite yes. to people, like treat people yes. badly, or boring. Yeah. Yeah. Like you're, I want spoiled. my kids to have good manners. And not spoiled, but yeah. um, but be interesting, be funny. You know? Yeah, and that's that's in the show as well because you mm. see, like Martin, your character's like wants the kid to live up to the things that he maybe didn't, yeah. didn't do the creativity that he didn't pursue yes, yes, or whatever. Yes, and yes. so every parent has that too. Like you so, want yeah. your kid to be more interesting or Absolutely. creative than you well, are. Well, that's the that's ba- the that's the journey of humans, isn't it? We want our kids to do better than us. Yeah. You know, I, I genuinely want people to like my kids more than they like me. If 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 they do. I, I think job done. He's you know, great sort of, kids. So when see yeah. worked right there. Yeah. Yeah. All right, last no, one. It's not. It's just she doesn't He's like me. <laughs> no, I love you. It's a very low, it's a very low bar. She's grading on a both. curve. Mm. All right, last one. We're getting down to brass tacks here. Okay. Would you rather be stuck alone with one toddler for a full week with no alcohol, <gasps> or two toddlers for a week with alcohol? Two. Alcohol. Firstly, you should <laughs> never, ever, ever give a toddler alcohol. <laughs> so I think that's. A, Shameful thing that you've put for uh, one toddler with alcohol. You're nuts. Two toddlers <laughs> alcohol. Oh, yeah, because you guys drink while they. Mine was no alcohol. alcohol. Oh, no alcohol. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I do oh a lot sorry. Of that. Yeah. yeah. What am I saying? Two toddlers. Two. Yeah. Okay. We're yeah. all they, agreement. They, they yeah, hang sorry, together. Yeah. They hang yeah. together. Yeah. 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 Yeah.